guys, it's Vidya, and I'm so excited to finally be back home in Washington with my boyfriend. That's why the scenery might look a little different. I am celebrating today with you my two and a half month post surge anniversary, and I have some great, great news. I, Vidya, am finally done for good with. 300. I am under 300 pounds for good. This is a huge victory for me. I have not been under 300 in I think about two years. So this is crazy news. Let me get to my stats. I am so excited to actually tell you these stats today. So for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I got my surgery on August 5th, 2015, and my pre-op weight, which is two weeks pre-op, was 367 pounds. The surgery day, I was weighing 349 pounds. My current weight is 298, and like I always say, I know I still have a lot to lose, but I am so proud of myself, you guys. Since my surgery date, I have lost 51 pounds and since starting my pre-op diet I have officially lost 69 pounds one pound away from 70 I couldn't believe it like I hit um, 299 about four days ago and looking down at the scale was like a miracle I was just like thank you thank you God thank you so much now um, I, I'm still really excited to see how everybody um, that had surgery before me or you know a couple weeks after me is doing so please please make sure to comment below and let me know how all of you guys are doing I wanted to um, I don't know if I should make a separate video about what I'm eating in a day right now but I'm still having trouble transitioning into soft foods and I thought that these quick little meals might um, give you some ideas so these, the the food I'm going to show you today is just something quick, it's pre-made food and it's for people that are on the run, people that maybe can't just spend hours making their food even though we'd love to. So what I have been eating lately are these little graduates meals, they're meant for toddlers. The good thing about this little meals are that right here if you look on the bottom they say six ounces so we're supposed to be having four to six ounces a meal and I find that this fills me up and I never have any problems with you know ooh, the glare I never have any problems with um, spitting these little food foods up what I do use though is I haven't just like this one right here I've been using a baby spoon to eat all of my food even if it's not the toddler food because it helps me control the pace in which I'm eating and I think that that's very important um, because because if I eat too fast, I find that um, I get gas buildup, and that that sometimes hurts hurts more than actually trying to transition foods. I don't I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure you guys understand if you're going through this, but um, definitely they also have these. So I definitely recommend these little graduates meals. As far as the protein, one of these little meals only has six grams of protein. However. Um, I do have a protein shake in the morning every day for breakfast and that protein shake has about 50 grams of protein so I will make a whole separate video about protein and making your own pureed foods I have this great little trick I learned actually from watching homemade baby food videos that I can't wait to show anybody that's going through a pureed diet they're sick of bland boring taste and you have a lot more op a lot more options than you think and I just can't wait to show you guys that so look forward to that video it's coming soon I'm back in my house so it's a lot easier to film now another uh, thing that I found really easy to eat um, is these tuna packets one tuna packets contains 16 grams of protein which is great I don't know if you guys can see because of the, the screen glare but I find that tuna by itself is really 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 hard 
to swallow. So I mix it with either Greek yogurt or sour cream. Some people use light mayonnaise. I don't like mayo. I'm one of those weird people that I only like it in sandwiches. I like it mixed with other flavors more. And since I'm a person that likes a lot of spices and I can't have those spices right now, like I said, pepper, the one time I tried it stung like it was fire down my throat. So if I just honestly put some sour cream and some onion powder and um, a little bit of salt and this does the trick. Um, Another thing that I want to mention about the Little Graduates, they have sort of like a gravy that comes with it that makes it easy for us to swallow, um, which is really, it, it's just like, I feel like after the surgery we really do need some lubricating agents <laughs> for our throats to be able to swallow the food, such as gravy or sour cream or light mayonnaise, whatever you choose. Um, uh, just make sure that it's not too high in fat because we are still trying to lose weight and trying to go towards a more healthy lifestyle. After surgery, sometimes you do get clogged up because you're eating bland foods, you might not be eating that much fiber and you're eating a lot of protein. What I found that really helps me is applesauce. Applesauce is easy to swallow, it's tasty and it comes in a lot of different flavors. I get the mango one but I'm actually all out because I finished them and this is just a good snack. I think it's good to get some sort of fiber in your diet. I know some people have Benefiber and other things, but applesauce has just applesauce has just been working fine for me. So applesauce is definitely something I'm eating. Also, for I think it's six or seven grams of protein, I sometimes just have string cheese as a snack, and I find that it's really really puts a pep in my step like when I'm feeling weak or like I'm feeling like I haven't eaten enough that day just the string cheese does the trick and it has protein so that's great and it tastes great so another food that I've been eating um, is vegetarian beans when I'm on the run I just measure out a quarter cup of vegetarian beans and I add some cheese to the beans heat it up on the stove and that's a quick meal Legumes are high in protein. I love uh, making lentils on the slow cooker. My boyfriend was kind enough and he got me a crock pot. So I'm going to be experimenting more with different soft foods. I still am having a lot of trouble eating, eating chicken and I haven't, I haven't really tried the salmon yet, but um, it is kind of a scary process to transition to different foods. I am going to try tonight though tilapia and I'm going to make it in the oven, make it soft and let's see how that goes. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I will make some recipe videos because I do make a lot of my own food. These are just some quick foods that I thought would be cool to share. Um, I will be making some recipe videos in the future <sighs> because just because we can't eat everything that we used to eat doesn't mean that our transition has to be boring and flavorless. That's There's so many natural flavors out there from fruits and vegetables and just slow cooking food can make food a lot more flavorful. So I don't think that our foods have to be boring, but yeah, <laughs> I will definitely make some recipe videos later. Um, the last video I made, I was very happy because we do have over 100 subscribers on the channel now and I think my video cut off when I was saying that once we hit 500 subscribers, I am slowly uh, collecting different items to do a giveaway for anybody that's in this VSG community and some of those items may include <laughs> A cookbook that I've been using um, to help me with the weight loss surgery diet so look forward to that you guys let's make it to 500 subscribers so I can do that giveaway and I just want to say thank you so much uh, for everybody for staying tuned and you know keeping updated with my videos it means a lot to me so if you're interested in learning more about the vertical sleeve gastrectomy if you just want to have a conversation about your weight loss experience and how it relates to my own or just follow my videos why don't you go ahead and click subscribe give this video a like if you enjoyed watching what I can eat as a quick snack and <laughs> just knowing more about my journey and go ahead and leave me a comment 
See you guys next time. Bye.